feel like the difference in this game was the runners left on base. Um, why do you think um, ultimately this team couldn't come up with the win today? Um, you know, Gonzalez did a nice job, uh, really sank the ball well. Um, we hit into a couple double plays. Uh, a couple of the balls we did hit hard with guys on base were at people. Uh, Braden hit one hard to left fielder. I uh, made a nice play on. Um, we were kind of just that one at bat away, um, you know, and they went back to Skipper and Burke Halter, uh, and they taxed them pretty good on, on Thursday. Um, so I'll credit those guys out of the pen. Um, I do think uh, the difference in the game was in our pitching staff's been good uh, for the most part. Um, it seemed like when we did give them a free base with a walk, it ended up hurting us, you know, in the fourth inning. Um, we ended up walking uh, LaRue, who was who we actually wanted to go after there. Uh, Sam got him to 0-2 and then walked him, and then the next guy got a hit. Um, and that happened a couple times later as well. So not putting this this one on the, the pitchers at all, um, but it just seemed like they capitalized on, on the things that we gave them, um, which is, you know, good teams will, will do that, and they did that again today. How much longer do you think this team can survive, I guess, a, a bit of a Russian roulette when it comes to the Sunday pitching staff and trying to find someone who can be consistent? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm not answering the question the right way. I don't think it's um, a Russian roulette thing. I think um, I got to keep guys in their lane with what they can handle. And um, when you ask guys to do more than they're capable of, you're running into real problems. I think it's encouraging. Um, Sam got us three and two thirds again today. Um, was real close. If we could have finished that guy off with two strikes, he gets us to the fourth. Um, at 64 pitches, we probably would have sent him back out for the fifth. And then you have like a legitimate starter there. Um, but until we get um, guys that locate their fastball um, with movement and velocity that make their breaking ball go down and can soften guys up with change-ups where it's, it's hard to have guys get through the order, you know, two or three times if you don't have that. So um, we'll keep working on that. Um, like I said, this one's, this one's not on the pitching um, other than we gave them a couple freebies and, and they cashed in on them. I guess with the more down the line question going with that, this team, its strength, of course, is you know how explosive you can be at the plate and offensively. At what point do you think maybe the offense is being forced to carry too much? It's hard. Yeah, it's it, it, it's hard, and and it's not just the pitching. Like I said, our pitching is doing fine, but when you compound um, when you compound defensive uh, miscues on on top of asking guys to do as much as they possibly can, then you're just putting a lot of pressure on. Like I mean. Joe Bear's been on fire, but when he, he strikes out there, when it's first and second, nobody out, it puts it puts a lot of pressure on the next guy, and then Jordan strikes out, and then we end up getting another H hit by pitch. And I thought um, Josh Pearson took some nice at bats today, um, you know, and, and got a ball in play with two strikes, which the guys before him didn't. So it does it puts a lot of a lot of pressure on you. Um, but hey, man, welcome to to the top of college baseball. I mean, we got five or six, I think quad one series left out of seven, you know, so it's how it's going to go. So we got to, got to grow through that. But, but I guess disciplinary actions you going to do maybe in practice when it comes to errors, maybe to try to help correct it. Well, I mean, right now, I mean, we're playing Kate is, is probably not a shortstop, but we're playing him there because I, I trust his toughness and I trust his makeup and um, he's doing the best job he can. Um, you know, we just got to, got to do it. You know I mean? It's like with the offensive players that, you know, it's just Cade and Jacob are, if they were elite defenders, they wouldn't be in college right now. So we got to do the best we can to help them get better. Um, they're high character guys. They're hard workers. And um, we'll just keep going. You know, there's no no mid-year transfer portal. Um, there's no um, free agency. And so we got to do what we got to do. There are best guys that we have available to do this, hands down. And um, we got a lot of data and fall practice to do that. And we're going to keep running them out there and keep trying to help get them better. Do you think it's like more mental? Uh, it might be, you know, I think at, at times, I think so much of baseball is that and just being in the right frame of mind to execute. Um, on defense, like, I mean, I think there's a little bit of, of attitude that, that you can have to kind of overcome that, um, you know, but we're just we're gonna have to keep going with it. You know, we're only halfway through the season um, right now, I mean, I, every game's important to me. Like game one's really important to me, so I don't say it in that context. But um, you know, there's there's still things we have to get better at that we'll work to get better at, 
so that, you know, maybe we give ourselves a, a little bit better chance to win a close game like that. And you talked about, like, just playing in conference in the SEC, the little mistakes mm -hmm. mean a lot. Yeah. Are you happy that – not happy that this happened now compared to May? No, I'm not happy about it. Um, but, um, I mean, it, they, all matter, they all matter. I mean, it, it doesn't – the RPI, which essentially decides who gets to go to the postseason, doesn't differentiate – conference or non-conference it does differentiate home away it doesn't differentiate february and may they all count the same you know and, and i've used the term it's a 56 game playoff which you know our guys are trying i mean they're not trying to make errors or make mistakes so we got to coach them as hard as we can and they got to bring the right attitude you know to be able to move forward you know towards improvement and that's in that's in all phases i mean that's and that's no different than any team that I've ever had or have ever coached or ever played against. And so um, it's got to keep going. Do you feel like Kate was trying to do too much on, uh, in the eighth inning? Uh, on uh, the that, you know, I mean, we were overshifted because of DeChera. Um, and I think, um, you know, it's Kate's play because he's the one moving towards first base. And I don't know if Jordan distracted him, um, but they pretty much ran into each other, basically. Um, the other error that we had, I think he had an error. I think that was in the seventh we were able to get get through. Um, nice job by Riley and Paul uh, to get us through that. You talked about every game is important. Through your SEC series, stumbled out the gate and losing game one. How do you get a well, quicker start? Well, they were one and eight last year. So, and we've, and as a program, we've lost six out of seven home SEC series. So we got to gotta get that turned around. And so, um, in terms of that context, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what the past is. Other than that, I did look at that, um, you know, recently and, and noticed that. But um, get it turned around. It's all about the play. You know, it's you know, it's it's very easy to look at series this, series that, and it all matters. Every one of them matters. Um, certainly wanted to win the game. Would rather be five and four than four and five. Um, margin is really small. You know, as you said. Um, so it's, it's about work. It's about self-discipline. It's not getting discouraged. It's about continuing to invest in the things that we need to do to be better. And that's my job as a leader is to help them do those things. Okay. And I've used the phrase long before we ever played a game, lost a game that, that growing up was going to be a big part of this. And, and some of that is getting exposed and we just, we got to keep trying to help them do that, which I will. And my staff will. Any more questions? Thanks, y'all. Thank you, guys. See you Tuesday.